Uh, Somebody said my childhood. Joshua Greek. Oh, hey, Josh. Welcome to the... I think you're new, but yeah, I think if you're... Welcome to this stream, asshole! If you're referring to Tomb Raider, your childhood, uh, yes, welcome. You can share the nostalgia with me as I fucking run through this. So this is Bartoli's hideout. And you can apparently also be called an asshole yeah. by David over here, who's Basically. just a raging asshole. So, so. This, is, right. this is the hideout of Bartoli. I'm doing a challenge where I'm not using my pistols at all in this game. I'm just using weapons that have ammo in it. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta get Bartoli. I gotta kill these rats. I gotta shoot this dude over here. Fuck this dude up. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're dead. Okay, give me that med pack. Uh, give me that med pack. Give me that med pack. I'm gonna go up here now. I'm gonna, oh, shit. Right, try that again. Try that again. Take two. Up here. Kill that rat. And kill that rat. Wow. What do you show? What is this? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know what, Mark? Put that up. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, that's not too early, right? That's not in poor taste. It's not down too soon. My step down close to it. Oh, okay. So All right, well. You should be able to find it pretty easy. Okay. Aaron Hernandez coach. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. So, it was hanging. Yeah, I know. Did we you, all know. Did you get it? I gotta go in here now, kill this guy. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Oh, shit. I forgot about this guy. I killed him, too. Stop shooting me. See, it's totally a pistol. He's shooting it with me. It just, I, I mean, I get that it is, and it kind of looks like one, but it's way oversized. I mean, your guns dead. don't look that big. Look at the size of this gun! That, that's nowhere huge. near as big as theirs are. It is fucking huge. Alright. Like that little commando roll I did in there? Yeah, no. that was nice. I wasn't even looking. Check that out. Fucking landed it. Fucking landed this shit. Did Justin say holy crap? Yeah, he's low, he's holy crapping my game style here. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, you know, fucking, I'm the fucking juggernaut, bitch. You can't fucking... So yes, this, yes, those swords drop. This stupid thing is the signs as a family member, and I am, me and you also, Mike, are apparently the vodka ant. Vodka ant? What? That's that was that is the type of family member we are. Oh, oh, by your by your by, by your, your side, self, right? Uh, okay. And okay. David, you are the psycho little cousin. You are a little psycho I cousin. Think, I think these might be accurate. I think I think that ant would still be cool. Yeah, I I could be a vodka ant. You know, when you said that, it just made me think of uh, the Friends episode with where uh, Phoebe starts hanging out with Frank Jr. It's like, Wait a minute. Can I use your phone? Oh yeah, do you gotta call somebody? No, I wanna burn it. <laughs> I wanna melt it. I wanna melt it. That's so I it. think I can gimp this. I think I can actually go up here and... Yep, yes I can. Spongebob is... This. What? Life? No, Spongebob is 30 years old. The characters... Not the show, the characters. Spongebob's 30 years old, single, living in a pineapple under the sea. Uh, how is that confirmed exactly? I don't know. I would say that Spongebob... He has a fucking job. He has his job. I mean, no, I he get that. He probably is about 30. He's like, an adult. He owns his own house, pays mortgages on a fucking fry, good, fry cook salary. I think that him and Patrick are in a relationship, though. Oh, you, you think so? Yeah, I ship it. Spoilers! <laughs> So, oh boy, 3 a.m. Oh boy, three, who has a Krabby Patty at 3 in the morning? <laughs> oh boy, 3 a.m. All right, so I'm going to go over here now. The, the thing that sucks about this is the ladder climbing is so fucking slow. Just, yeah. Ugh, fuck, get up here. All right, get over here. Like, they took a big time and effort to do the, the correct animations with climbing ladders, but Jesus right. Christ. All right, there's a guy out here. Come on. Yeah, screw it. I'll kill him later. Like go over here, slide over here. Da da da. Patrick is one year older than SpongeBob, Justin. How do you know that? Is that just confirmed? Fuck, are you serious? I don't know why you guys are questioning his SpongeBob knowledge really anymore. Yeah, uh, yeah, good point. I guess I shouldn't. Uh, gotta jump over here. And then I gotta fucking do a run and jump. Run, this is this is this is a walkthrough now. I'm making this into a walkthrough. This is this is not just comedy now. This is just Jesus. this is a walkthrough. Welcome. So then you gotta jump over, here. guys. Guys, if you haven't played this 20 year old game yet, you gotta go over here now. Jump on this. That door should be open because I opened it. You jump. You hold X and then you slide on down. You take a little damage, but that's okay. There's two Dobermans down here. You gotta kill them. Uh, one maybe. Okay. 
Oh, there's the other dog. Alright, he's dead. Alright. Fucking... Come over here, shoot this guy really fast, because he doesn't have an item. You gotta kill him really fast. Are they wearing, like, masks or something? Yeah, they, they have, like, op Phantom of the Opera masks. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It's really funny. So, the secret's here. There's a, there's a fucking lever. You pull that shit. You open that shit up. Fucking this... This other guy comes out, starts shooting, guns ablazing. <laughs> Kill him. Fucking get the shotgun shells. Fucking okay. And then out here on the balcony. Oh so, my god, I stone. can't. You can't? I'm sorry, do you want me to stop? Uh -huh. Get this guy, get that stone dragon. You got the first. I don't know what I want anymore. You don't know what you want anymore? Alright. Are you like you're like the girl from the notebook? What do you want? What do you want? Herpes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, That's your the way of my heart. Yeah. <laughs> That's your fucking answer? Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Alright, well, shotgun now. Uh... Fuck you, dog. Oh shit, there's another guy. Forgot about him. Uh... Uh, two shots, kill a guy. There you go, he's dead. Now there's a secret in here. See this little, sh little fireplace? I got push this block. Next time I'm with the doctor getting a prostate exam, maybe you could shoot me in the back of the head. What the hell is that from? Oh, well, I guess I should oh. I guess I should watch this show because uh it's really so funny. Shot Ron Swanson in the back of the head. That's not cool. So then like the whole episode he just kept coming up with all this stuff like oh maybe the next time I'm uh you know Having a meeting, Wait, you, could can, you could come in and shoot me in the back of the head. Can you explain that again? Because I think you were away from the mic and just fucking. All right, so they're they're out hunting Parks and Rec, and uh, somebody shoots Ron Swanson in the back of the head. So the whole like rest of the episode, he keeps berating uh, Leslie because he thinks that she did it. He's, he keeps saying Leslie's shit like the main character. Yeah, okay. He keeps life. saying shit like. The next time I'm at the doctor getting a prostate exam, maybe you could just come in and shoot me in the back of the head. Oh, well. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Alright. So, this... I, yes, I came out of a painting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but whatever. The best one, though, is when he has that money and he throws the hamburger at his face. Yeah. Okay, so... I gotta go up here. I gotta, I gotta fucking... I, I gotta climb some chandeliers. Yeah, you you heard that right, folks. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how this works, how she's walking on this chandelier, but uh, it's very happened. carefully. Yeah, very carefully. Apparently. I don't know how she's rolling on it. Right? I don't know how she's doing any of it. And then it's not moving. Right? It's just fucking stationary as fuck. Like that chain's not a chain. It's just a pull to make it look like a chain. Right. Pull that. There's a key behind that painting. I gotta go over here now. I gotta fucking. Alright, I gotta do a little jump, do a little jig here, do a little jig, okay. Da, da, da. I like the music in this game also, it's very good. Over here, pull myself up, like this, and then some Daisy. You think I'm dead? You're not dead, Melanie. Oh, I'm so alive. I mean, unless you wanna be dead. Mm. <laughs> well. When you put it that way, <laughs> I don't know. Gee, I don't know, kid. Yeah, kid, I don't know. To the viewers, we're, we're quoting uh, Home Alone from the scene. These vans when... get good gas mileage. So they have all-wheel drive. God, what the fuck name is the kid in that movie? They, they, uh, they say it like they say once. His name. They do. Do they? Yeah. Uh, what is this? Oh, he doesn't give this. Have fun in France. Bring you back lots of presents. David. Is it David his name? No. Uh, my name's David. They do say it like once before you even see it. Yeah, it's God. really weird because then, you know, when me and David started dating, it was really weird that we were both named David. Melody, your name is not David. You can <laughs> well, stop. Who's Melody? You're, you're not, are you really sticking with this pit now that you're fucking David? Is that it? Is that what we're going with here? He was all like, whoa, that's weird. Why is your name David? You're a lady. That Okay, the lever I just pulled, like, changed the height on the chandelier, so... Mm. This, this is this. Nico Danny says Kevin. Oh, that's the name of the kid? No, that's Kevin McAllister. Yeah, we're talking about the neighbor that lives across the street that's really obnoxious. Yeah, the Why actor's name is Kevin McCullough. No, his name is 
Uh-huh. Why did I say Ke- Kevin is his name, right? You said Kevin McCulloch or something. I don't know why I did that, to be honest with you. Whatever. I think Kevin is the kid's name, though. That's the thing. Kevin, Kevin's the character. Kevin McAllister's the character. Yeah, that's what. Macaulay I... Culkin is the actor. Yeah. Yeah. Is he dead yet? No. no, he's not dead. Oh, dude, there's this really funny ass video. Did you see the video of him where he? When he's older and he's an Uber driver. No, I didn't. Yeah. Not. Oh, dude, it's oh great. Oh my god, it's so good. It's literally him as Kevin McAllister. And he, yeah, uh, it's like Kevin McAllister so many years later or whatever, and he's this Uber driver. And he's like scarred for life. Oh, God. And he, like, he there's, like, like, a mugger, and he, like, Yeah, takes, he, like, kidnaps this guy, and, like, he's, like, you he fucked with the wrong Uber driver, and he, like, takes him to his basement and tortures him. It's fucked up. My goodness. It's really funny, though. <laughs> right. Alright, gotta go over here. Name of... Pull this lever. Is it it's Home Alone 2? It's 1. 1? Yep. Home Alone, yeah, 2, he's just in New York. How many how, how many year difference is uh it's like the year one? after literally the year after they're like really yeah. terrible parents they are you know if Home Alone took place now it wouldn't no, really make not sense old man Marley. because like Kevin would probably have a phone and he could just text his mom hey mom you left me yeah at home. there's like the one where it's like Home Alone in 2017 or whatever yeah and then um, there's you forgot me at home <laughs> the end and then there's a jingle all the way oh my god I almost forgot to get the Christmas gift going Amazon, Amazon. Mitch. Oh, am I gonna run out of air, Hacker? It appears his name might be Mitch. Hacker, am I gonna run out of air? Probably not. Oh God. Is that him? That is him. Yeah, it's Mitch. Mitch Digger. I'm just kidding. I did run Mitch out of air. <laughs> Took a little damage there. My bad. All right, Justin. We'll see you. Bye, Justin. Bye. Remember to wash your berries and fly towards the sun. I think after this episode, we should probably yeah, call it. Yeah, we should it. probably call it. I agree. Running yeah. out of gas. I am running out of fuel as well. That's funny because I have. Ooh, yeah. If I do that, we get a little bit of fuel. Hashtag creamy crowd. <laughs> what if Macho Man took the place of what's his face from Macho James Hatfield? Yeah, Macho I can see it. Man. Hey, he started. I wanna be Ooh, jump in the fire. I'm the cream of the crime. I'm gonna rise to the top. You know, Hulk Hogan almost tried out as the bass player for Metallica. No, he did not. Yeah, he did. You never heard that story? I have not. Hulk Hogan actually like does play bass and has a band and shit like that. And when Metallica had a bass player opening, he thought about auditioning, and he was like. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that though. Like Metallica with Hulk Hogan, that just sounds awful. That sounds. That, that it was can, like how Metallica turned away Les Claypool because he was too good. Right. That's the fucking. I. <laughs> that, fucking put that on Les Claypool's resume. I'm too good for Metallica. I'm too good to play in Metallica. That's fucking. Oh, Literally. Just, fuck off, buddy. All right, he's dead. You got anything for me? No, Pile of bodies. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of dead bodies spewed about this building. Just let you know. All right. I got to go over here. Duh. He's shooting. He's shooting. Uh, come over here really fast. This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. You're crazy. You're a crazy bitch. But I fuck so good, I'm on top of it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck you. Could have a wood, bitch. I'm. Good. When I dream, I'm doing you all night. Yeah, I don't. Rem- stitches on down my back. Mm. Keep right on. Mm. Whatever. Hulk Hogan does have some songs on YouTube. Does Hulk he? And, and he douche. defeated Gremlins. And he was Thunder. Wait, he was in Gremlins. <laughs> And he's a douche. Well, yeah, he, well, he's a racist. But, yeah, you know. that means he's a douche. Hey, brother, is, you can be in my show. Just no, black, just no black people, brother. <laughs> what did he, didn't he say something about how, about his daughter dating a black guy and if she was going to... No, wasn't that, wasn't that dog the bounty hunter? No, I think it was Hulk Hogan. I think he said that he didn't want her to date a black guy unless it was a really rich basketball player. So oh. Well, didn't something similar happen with Dog the Bounty Hunter about the same Probably. deal? I don't know jack shit about Dog the Bounty Hunter. Dog the Bounty Hunter is fucking weird. Dog? His name is literally Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's what he calls himself I, I know of him. I just don't know anything about him. Hulk Hogan was also in Rocky 3. You should be careful not to ruin those books. 
as Thunderlips. They're important. Well, that's right, he was in Rocky 3. Yeah, he was Thunderlips. I totally forgot about that. Gremlins 2 says that. Oh. Gremlins? Oh yeah, there was a second Gremlins. I didn't really like that one. I don't really like that one. It sounded really one. like you were gonna cry. <laughs> well, I had like I a- I think you were like yawning or something. I didn't something. really you were, like, like that one. Really like well, I had like a burp- I thought I had a burp coming, so I'm like- oh, oh, oh. I don't like Gremlins 2. Alright. That one's not good. I'm gonna go over here now. Hey, there's blood on your shirt. Yo, Heck, are you bleeding? Yeah. Don't bleed. He's bleeding all over. Dude, not cool. There's been a zombie attack. Damn it, I missed the fucking jump. Right? Yeah. You got attacked by a zombie? Fucking asshole. <laughs> missed the jump, Hacker. I guess we gotta shoot you now. No, whoa, whoa, that fucking escalated <laughs> fast. Not you, him, he got attacked by a zombie. Oh yeah, we gotta fucking blow his head off. That's why he's... Bloody. You know, I saw this random, speaking of zombies, made me think of Zombieland. Yeah. And, uh, their Facebook page randomly posted something, I think it was yesterday that I saw. What? That the role that Bill Murray played in it, you know, where he was himself. Pretty much. It was originally gonna be Patrick Swayze as himself, and then Patrick Swayze died. So he get, just, does he get shot just, in the same way? He just threw in Bill Murray. I don't know, maybe. I kind of think Doesn't that. it, like, Bill Murray gets shot and is like, oh, fuck, I got yeah, shot. Yeah, do you have any regrets? He's like, Garfield. Garfield? Yeah. I kind of think that... Rip Hacker. Why well, rip me? I'm, n I'm not dead. Because I'm going to shoot you because you are a zombie. Yeah. I'm not dead. No. I ain't dead. I ain't fucking going no. out yet. I hey, when you were on their page, did you see this? No, oh, that's a pretty badass tattoo. Yeah. What is that tattoo? That guy has his nipples pierced, too. Oh. It's the guy has Woody Harrelson. Would you get your nipples pierced? No. <laughs> no. Hell no. Only because I'm too afraid of the pain. Come on, you get your ears pierced. I probably wouldn't want them anyway. No, I don't. Well, I've gotten them pierced, but I don't have them pierced now. Oh. Get your I, belly I, button pierced? I, see, I, ha I have my belly button pierced. Oh, that's right. So. Oh, look, here it is. Let's try it again. Bill and Murray's cameo was originally intended for Patrick Swayze. How old is Patrick Swayze? He's, He's dead. He's dead, you donkey! Patrick Swayze's dead? Yeah, he died of cancer like 10 years ago. It oh. was not 10 years ago. Oh Shut my you. god, I didn't, I didn't know. He died of cancer? Yeah. Roadhouse? Yes. Oh no! Dead ass Patrick I thought he could roundhouse, roundhouse kick ha cancer in roadhouse the face. Roadhouse quick kick? Yeah. Roadhouse kick? Yeah. Oh, Here, man. Let me tell you, he died in 2009, which was not 10 years ago. It was eight years ago. Okay, well, All right. wasn't that far off. New level, new gun. I got myself my Uzis. <laughs> he died as he lived, beating Mike sense senselessly. <laughs> <laughs> Pancreatic cancer. Oh, not the pancreas. Fuck. The Dead sways. celebrities. Is, uh... Is Fred Savage dead? No, Fred Savage isn't dead. Well, he should be. Is he the one from really the Wonder Years? Really. Yeah. He's yeah. the one from the Wonder Years. Yeah, right? he's the Wonder Years kid. Yeah, he's alright. I like Ben Savage. Ben Savage, isn't he? Uh, Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World, yeah. that's a, Actually, I remember uh, Fred Savage was a special guest on one episode of Boy Meets World where he plays a <laughs> teacher that is like seducing Topanga. I remember it. What? Yeah. No. They're like in college... Oh, it's the college one. Yeah, it was the college. Those ones are good. Yeah. They got, I don't know, I think they got better as they went on, kind of. A little bit. They're just, all, all of it's just good. Uh, the whole thing's good? I don't all know. of it. The whole the, show is good. The early the early years when they're, like, in middle school is like, ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, like I said, it gets better the older that they get. bitch. Oh, yeah. Patrick Swayze's dead. <laughs> I didn't know. I had no idea. Dead slip. I thought it was just, like, chill. Like, dude, I don't have to do anything after Roadhouse. I'm good. I got an Oscar for Ghost. <laughs> Did he? I was, he was in Red Dawn, too. Don't forget about He was in Red Dawn. The That's right. The he fought the Soviets and made them... Fought the Soviets. Whoa, hold the phone. He made sure that they what? didn't take Kansas. Mary Tyler Moore died this year? Mary yeah. Tyler Moore's dead? Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh, my God. I texted you about that. Oh, okay, I guess I knew. Is Dick Van Dyke dead? Dick Van Dyke should be dead. He's, Probably. He's got... Know. If he's not, he is in his late 80s. Well, I guess see if there's anyone else I care about that died this year. We we've already talked about the gra the grandma from Doris, that guy because yeah. his name is Butch Trucks. Ron Bingo Mundy. There was the grandma from Everybody Loves Raymond. John She's Hurt. dead. 
John Hurt. Mm-hmm. John Hurt's dead? I guess Who so. Who the fuck did John Hurt die? What, uh, what did John Hurt year? play in? Jesus. What did he play in? Oh he was in 1984. Oh. Beef Vendetta. Oh, he was the bad guy. Oh, he died. Dude, somebody died like every day. He died on January 25th, I guess. Hmm. I blew up a house. That's not nice. I blew it up. It's gone. I blew it to smithereens. Well, Savage is dead, whoever that is. Oh yeah, Bill Paxton, we forgot about him. Bill Paxton's dead, I forgot! Dude, we were game couching when we found out about Oh my it. god, that's right! I'm trying to find, oh yeah, Chuck Berry, I forgot Chuck, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry should be dead, man, that fucker is old. 90. Yeah, he would be. Is Marvin Berry okay, though? I'm sure <laughs> Marvin Berry's probably dead, too. Oh my god. Don Rickles. Don, oh, I, I, I Jay Giles died. Oh, fuck. Charlie Murphy. Charlie yeah. Murphy! Cuba Gooding Sr. Found a parked car. I beat the third level. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Doris wasn't on the list, man. I kid, yes, I Kitty, I beat the level. Photos of famous dead bodies. <laughs> Famous right. dead bodies. You want to see William, it? No, Dick Van Dyke. Is he dead? No, not Dick Clark. He's definitely dead. Dick Clark is definitely dead. They should have... Sh- they, they should have... Oh, man. They, Were that... you just about to say they should have shot him? Nope. You uh, were totally Sam, about to say Sam that. Sam said, God, I love Boy Meets World. I need to find them at some point. Bobbyville said, remember Doug Funny? They're so fucking Danny expensive. Said, girl, girl Meets World got a lot of hate. Yeah. It was okay. I watched part of the first season. I I just didn't care enough about it to finish it. Uh, Dick Van Dyke is not dead. It's ninety one though. He is up there. Dick I know that. Dick Van Dyke is alive. Hey, can you can you see if the the guy that played the dad in the Sound of Music is still alive? Um, it is, so... Just type in so- Sound of Music, and this should be the first the actor's sound. name. The hills are alive. Music. The, sound. the hills are alive with the sound of, of music. Hi, Leo. How you been doing? All right, let's see. It should be like uh, Christopher Plummer. Yeah, Christopher Plummer. Still he alive. He is alive. How old? Is Eighty-seven. He? 87. He looks fucking good for He's you, Canadian. So. Let me see him. Damn. Uh, he's alive. Yep. Bobby Bobbyville is also confirmed. He is alive. Mr. Boobs. He was in the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, he played the uh, the father. The father. Yeah, the estranged. Hey, you're gonna fall off. Oh, you have to actually like. Sit yeah, down. the guy in the wheelchair. You know that uh, book and movie feels like two separate things to me. Well, pre- well, there's technically two movies. There's the the American one, and then Sweden made well, their own Well, I mean, version. like the story, like the beginning story with like her and the like guy. Yeah. That and then the whole story with you talk about like the social worker that rapes yeah, her. Yeah. Oh. So that feels like a totally separate movie to me than when they go to that weird place. Maybe it's because of how it's set up. Because it's like in the book, it's like her story, and then his story. It's like you know, like the guy, the main guy. So you know what I remember about that, that dude movie? It goes like back yeah, and forth. Yeah, he's fucking jacked as shit. You know what I remember about that movie? Like the serial killer. He also played the dude in Deep Blue Sea that gets his arm bitten off. And he also he's also in a fucking uh, Thor. He's one of the scientists. Wait, which what well, you're talking about the American? One? Yeah, the American version. I never saw the Swedish. It's uh, good. Is it good? Yeah, you it should is watch good. it. I think it's still on Netflix. Is it on Netflix? All three of them are. Yeah, uh, yeah we haven't. We only watched the first one. Okay. But yeah, it's wait. There's three movies. Yeah. Only the Swedish version. There's three. It's broken up into three. Like no, it's, there's three different. It's movies three separate it's... books. Oh. Uh, so there's the American version. They only did the first book. I see. And I don't think they're doing anymore. Okay, so so when it ed- the, the American version where it ends, where it's like there's kind of a love interest between her and well Elizabeth James and James Bond and Michael James Bond. What, what's his uh, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Craig. Craig. Like and then he he she he, he hooks up with the old old girlfriend again and she's like jealous. That's how it like ends in the in the American. Yeah, movie. well, at least as far as I don't know about the does she movies. get does she get revenge on uh, James Bond and the uh... at least as far as the books I haven't finished the second book but towards the beginning it's like totally like they're not even like. They're not even a thing anymore. They're not even... It, like, goes anymore. back to it being separate. Like, it talks about what's going on with her. It talks about what's going on with him. But everything's totally separate again. Christopher Plummer played in Star Trek Six. Who else do we want to know if they're dead or not? 
Uh. Uh. Um. Uh. Mickey Rooney. Yeah, Mickey Rooney. I'm pretty I sure. I'm pretty sure Mickey. Mickey Rooney. Rooney's crazy bills. <laughs> what about Mickey Rourke? Mickey Rourke's not <laughs> Mickey Rooney is Take dead. two pills and you'll be up in the chimney. You'll be up in the roof pooping in your chimney. Hold out your stockings, kids! He died in 2014. <laughs> Ripping off people's scabs and running around aimlessly. <laughs> There's one, what else is this about? Like, I yell I, at mice with my I yell, shirt off. I yell at mice with my shirt off. That was it. <laughs> About, uh... Actually, there's a fun... Okay, all right, this is what... Okay, you know, Mickey Rooney stars in Pete's Dragon, right? Um, sure. Okay. How did he die? It doesn't tell me. So... He was just old. Mickey Rooney... <laughs> Mickey Rooney's in Pete's Dragon, and there's a funny part. He plays a drunk. He plays, like, the drunken father in Pete's Dragon. And I remember one time I was watching... And it was just, it, it, it's funny, this whole part where he's like, a dragon, a dragon. I thought I saw a dragon. If you, if you gotta, like, I'm gonna have Mark do this. Slow it down to, like, half the speed and just, like, play it to the part where he, like, sees the horse. And just, just Mark, play the clip really fast. Dragon. I swear I saw a dragon, a green and seething, fire-breathing monster is in sight, with eyes of red, a lion's head, and wings as dark as night. Oh, he has a jaw of gleaming teeth, he's 50 feet in height. It's true, it's true, oh, what are we to do? It's true, it's true, he'll break us all in two. Oh, he's coming in, his great big fin is right against the door, so board up all the windows. That is fucking funny. It's fucking. I just. I remember that scene being like, oh my god. Yeah, I've never seen that movie. you never seen Beast Dragon? No. It's okay. Oh my yeah. god. What? Mickey Rooney beat his wife. Yeah, Mickey Rooney was an asshole in real life. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty fucked up. I'm so upset. Well, actually, I don't really, really like Mickey Rooney, so I guess I don't know. Dude, Mickey Rooney's crazy pills. I know Mickey Rooney didn't die like a long time ago. Like he last last movie I think I saw him in was uh, Night at the Museum, he where, he, where he was with Dick Van Dyke. He died in 2014. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke was in that movie. Mickey Rourke is alive. Actually, I think I just saw a recent video of Mickey Rooney, you know, in his 80s, still doing the stepping time dance for Mary Poppins. Like, he still, he still has it fucking down. Who the fuck is shooting me? You piece of shit! Fuck you! Fuck you too! Assholes. Thought I killed them. Killing a lot of dudes left and right here. It's fucking dark as shit. Alright, press this button. Aya. Alright. Couple dudes came out. Uh oh. I, that's the music of trouble. Alright, let me see if I can do this right. Uh, alley -oop. Alley -oop. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're dead. Uh-oh, gotta switch to something else. Uzi time! Cut him, man. Alright, I think everybody's dead. Everybody's dead up here. I gotta collect all- See, the thing is, like, the bad guys, they drop stuff. Ow! And Stop it! Ooh, is Kitty Paw- is Kitty clawing you? Yeah. Right in your skin? Yup. Yup. Socks. Poopy. Tastes like poo-poo. Man, we're like late to the game because apparently Doris Roberts died in 2016. What the hell? What the hell is Doris Roberts? The grandma from Everybody Loves Raymond! Oh my god! I keep on forgetting the name. Sheesh. We- we talked oh, about man, Doris. I forgot about Gene Wilder. 
Yeah, Gene Wilder was dead. Nancy Reagan's dead? Nancy Reagan died. Of, yeah. Nancy Reagan, I think, died in 2000. Last year. Last year, yeah. According to this. Nancy Reagan hadn't been up there because I know Ronald Reagan was already in his 70s when he was the president. Oh, Ronald Reagan, the, the actor. actor. <laughs> I forgot. Don't you know, dead. you know, people now. If we if we went back, at, we, if we went back like to the nineties and told people like, who's the president? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. The, the real estate. The real estate mogul. Yeah, they are. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. All right. Let's. Oh yeah, this place is called the Opera House, and you'll know once I get into this main area. She died on your birthday. Nancy Reagan died on your birthday. June sixth. Yes. Yep. She was ninety four. Ninety. Well, that's pretty good. Her name's not even fucking Nancy. What's her real name? Anne Frances Robbins. Anne Frances. Is oh, Jimmy God. Carter still alive? Jimmy Carter is still bitch. alive. Yes, he's not dead yet. Oh, amazing. Although he's he's up there too, man. He's what about Gerald Ford. Gerald, Gerald Ford, Ford is dead. Yes. Hold on, I'm looking up Jimmy Carter first. Um, the president, the oldest president that's alive right now is Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is. Really, you were looking. He's alive. Although he's he does 92. have he does have cancer. He's straight up ninety two. Jesus. And uh Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford's still alive. I George H. said Gerald Ford was dead. No, Gerald Ford's dead, I'm sorry. Uh George H. W. Bush is alive. Clinton's obviously Barely. alive. H. W. ain't gonna make it much longer. Yeah, he's in a chair. He's in bad shape. Yes. Gerald Ford. Died in two thousand six. Oh my god. Health, my There's a fucking guy shooting me. Sorry, my bad. This my is, bad. This is what the game couch has come to. Yeah, right. I'm just looking up dead people. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them sandbags, yo. Actually, I'm probably gonna save it. George H. W. Bush is an old fart. That's what it says. No, it does not. <laughs> it should. <laughs> so, you know what's All funny? Right. I, I think we should probably cut it. Oh, yeah. We should it. probably just do it next time. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. Next time on the well, game Well, he's couch. alive and he's 92. Oh, my God. He's 92. See you next time. George H. W. Bush 